Hello, Bill Molyneux here with Bill's History and War Game World. The Alamo, do not worry, the Alamo will be back. I'm going to be uh, preparing the Alamo. I'm going to talk about that at the end of this video. This video is none other than the Navarone playset. I got the Williamsburg Muster, 132nd scale or 54 millimeter. I like 54 millimeter sounding better. Sounds better to me. Um, got this from Mark, a.k.a. Napoleon. It is mint in the box. So, we're going to open her up, lay everything out. So, I hope you'll stay with me. Let's see what's in this gigantic box. Many kids wanted this for Christmas. It's a huge play set. Stay tuned. All right, I'm going to move the the box in and I'm going to start taking the components out and I'll lay them out on the table here and I'll come back to you in a few minutes. All right, well I got this from uh, Mr. Mark and I'm uh, very happy with the purchase price and um, this thing is mint. Um, it's about 50 years old and here we go. Stay with me. I think you're going to enjoy this. Especially if you're uh, into the Mark's play sets. So what do we have? We have the plastic mat. But you don't see this very often. Look at that. The original instruction booklet. How to put it together. Um, I mean to have this still in the box is pretty darn cool. Now I'll be turning the... the Navarone Mountain around, but we'll, uh, I'm going to drop the camera angle. All right, let's be down it's Christmas morning and it's 1972 or something. So, uh, you get your landing craft, you get a Jeep, Your tank, landing craft, the one raft, a bonus raft that Mark put in there, your gun, we got a couple GIs for there, we got our Jeep, the half track is over on the side, I'm showing my wife what a half track is, figure wise. Now the Mark's, um, Mark's figures are all here and they really did some great poses with Mark's um, they and their quality of their sculptures were very good too so very very happy with this so that's our American infantry our Artillery piece, Jeep, landing craft, tank. We got our little raft and a bonus raft that Mark threw in there. Pretty cool, huh? And the half track is sitting over there, the Mark's half track. Let's see what else we have. All right, we got another plastic bag. I'm going to dump this out, see what we have. Okay, the Germans for this set are the white plastic and not the gray. And I'm not a Super Marks expert. I wore game in 54. I am not a toy soldier collector. Um, but we have the furniture. We'll set this off to the side. It's just like a big dollhouse for 54 millimeter figures. If you aren't familiar with this play set, it was ex wanted by every every kid when it came out. So you got the ammunition and ammo boxes, beds. Now as far as figure wise, they all look to be here. This is one figure I really wanted, carrying the Panzer Shrek. 
Um, got the MG42. There's also some dead Germans. You have your German officer. So, very happy with this. Uh, I'll be spray painting these German soldiers in my gray. Now, I'm going to clear these off and we'll look at the mountain itself. All right, well, we're going to do the, the front first. And gun moves, pivots. Both guns move nicely. A lot of times you don't see these on um, Navarone play sets. This, this plastic, the ropes, ladders uh, would get broken. And uh, just with standard play, not that it was poor quality. And we have the door and the garage door. Now people were, I've had, uh, these are your slots for your soldiers to shoot out of. All right, now I don't know how long this has been, was sitting in Mark's attic, but I presume quite a long time. We're gonna pause the camera and flip Navarone around. All right, well, welcome back to the uh, Mark's Playset unboxing. And I'll be dropping the camera slowly. Uh, one of the neat things, uh, there's two neat three-dimensional things included in this. Um, all right, you have ammunition. So... You need to get your ammunition up to one of the gun decks, and there you go. So that's pretty cool. So the next thing you have in this cool playset is the elevator. Now, quite often, a lot of these playsets, um, that rail is broken. Or not there so it's really neat that this still has the uh, the rail and it works great and I'm gonna lower the camera so you can see the slots here for your infantry to shoot out of and Now for that furniture we talked about, there you go. So you can set up however you wanted your ammunition cart. Um, so this, this really was a lot of bang for the buck. Now when this came out, um, it was $14.99 and uh, ages 4 to 10. So I'm, I guess, 50 years off for this, but I'll be using it for a miniature war game of some type in 54 millimeter scale. And if you're new to my channel, I am pretty much only wargaming in 54 millimeter scale unless I'm at Walt Leach's house or invited somewhere else. All right, I'm going to pause the camera here. All right, welcome back, welcome back. I hope you're enjoying this. Um, this is the half track, uh, the Mark's half track, and um, I think half tracks are really cool, but of course, they're not used anymore. One of the reasons is with the tank tracks and tires, these would get caught up in barbed wire at times. So, needed to throw that out my lovely wife Lisa needed to know what a half track was. This Mark's playset was made in 1977. Uh, as far as the box and all, it's a little bit worn. 
um, but I am too for uh, for my age. So I think that's uh, really that's that's it for the play set. Um, so Mark's play sets 54 millimeter scale. These go from anywhere between selling off for parts to a hundred dollars, um, beat up a little bit to several hundred mint in the box. Now, the Alamo. I'm going to be setting up the Alamo and I'm going to pause the camera. So this is the plan with the Alamo. I have it all torn apart. I'm going to set it back up and uh, add the trenches and a few other things and run my Alamo with the new rules. Uh, all they are is adjustments to the other rules. I needed to gear it down to 10 millimeter. Um, and I need to say thank you to Dr. Scott Mingus, a very famous author and historian. You may know him from many uh, miniature war game uh, books, uh, Johnny Reb 3, I think it is, and all his Civil War books that he's written on Gettysburg. And he helped me with uh, fine-tuning a few of the adjustments. So Saturday I'll be doing a 54 millimeter game. I hope to have that on video. And then March 4th, we are at uh, Braddock's Battlefield, the Battle of Monongahela. Mr. Sean out there will be giving us a tour and I'll have it all on video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget, one day it might be miniature war gaming, and the next day we're at a historic site. Thank you, stay safe, be kind, be courteous, and remember the Alamo. The victory date's coming up soon.